Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story, and I'm here with my friend Andrew. Andrew, good to see you. Great to see you. Andrew Thanks. Vogel, and uh, this is a special feature for you because you usually can't get in here. Where are we at? Well, we're at the Claremont Collection. It's a private automobile museum in the city of Chicago. Mm -hmm. No one knows of it because we're private. Right. Uh, we're almost 100,000 square feet and over 300 automobiles on site here. Um, and so this is really a treat, and we're happy to share with folks uh, through Lou. So you'll get the chance to see the Claremont Collection cars. We'll be working on this all winter and spring long so that you get the chance to see some of the cars in detail. And occasionally we'll do some things that normally you can't do. Maybe we'll get one to start and so forth and so on. But today we've got a great car as our opening car day. Andrew, what do we have today? It's a one of one. Yeah, it's a big deal car in a way, in many ways, really, because it is a one of one, Lou. Yeah. Um, this is a what had been a Motorama car, which was a 1950s thing. Everybody Google that now, because yeah. you're going to want to know what Motorama is. Uh, it was a big deal for GM, especially back in the day, um, in the mid-50s especially. So what we have here is a car that GM made for the Motorama yeah. that is a, a marriage of a 53 Corvette front end mm -hmm. with a Chevy Nomad back end and the Nomad was that two-door station wagon yes. right back in the day which is kind of a cool car all by itself but now when you put the Corvette element on it it makes it kind of sexy actually for, right. the, for the day especially and this uh, is a recreation this is a recreation because, because what happened the Motorama cars ran the circuit for a year and then off they went to the crusher they crushed them and threw them away so they're all gone so the folks who built this car did it with meticulous research and they did it with amazing precision so it really does truly recreate the original Nomad concept car that GM did for the Motorola. Sounds great. Let's take a look. Yep. Let's go right to the featured event. And with that being said, here, oops, sorry about that. Here is our car. Let's take a look. It looks like a Corvette from the front, but as you go over to the side, it has the 55 Nomad look. Isn't that spectacular now Andrew come with me you you uh, uh, this car is exactly you can see how the grills were back then this car is new to the collection so this is a first time video for this car maybe period as well it, it really is we've only had it about six weeks uh, delighted to have it in the collection uh, it's a, a terrific addition for sure and you, I know you like this car because Andrew dressed like he's exactly dressed for the it's, car today. Well, we planned accordingly for the car. I, yeah. had, to, I had to blend a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's perfect. Let's take a look at that from this angle. That just looks spectacular, doesn't it? Let me back up a little bit to give you the overall view of the car. And I'll let you kind of take that in. That's great. Let me give you one other side shot of this car because it has so much to it. That's great. So you'll see some of the detail in here, Lou, when you go through the car, mm -hmm. uh, from the, as you see, the exterior placards to even the interior, the glass work. Yeah. Uh, it's not just the body shape and getting it kind of sort of close to the original concept. They recreated this vehicle exactly down to the stitching on the upholstery inside. Let's You'll look see at that every upholstery. element. Let's do that. Let's open her up. Go ahead. Can I get it for you? Thank you. Look at this. And such a subtle blue, right? It with is. This, with it this is, white, almost kind of cream top to it. But this look is at the, the way stitching. also, the, you know, the colors are, are genuine as well. So. The body by Fisher. And the seat, look at how the seat comes, separates there, the driver. Just like that. That is great. We'll take a look on this side. You've got the speaker, the Chevrolet bow tie right there, some of the gauging. Just the way it was in a 55. Let's get the... So as you look at some of the details on the inside, Lou, you can see probably a couple of notable things yeah. that may not have been part of the original, the, 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 
designer and builder of this particular model decided to take a little bit of license with the car. Okay. And add some creature comforts because unlike so many concept cars, this one is completely and totally drivable. Which so, is great. So, so you really do have a grocery getter here. Well, we, you can see the windows, how they open here and they slide back and forth. They slide this way just like a nomad. All right, yeah, here's some of the creature comforts he was talking about. Power windows, nice. Mm -hmm. The crank for the side window. Let's take a look at some of the uh, back of this car. Mm -hmm. We've got the wonderful exhaust out the back. That's a cool Motorama feature. So I've always liked the, what they've done with these cars. Now the Corvette, of course, would have had the exhaust coming out directly out the tail end. Um, but this car, uh, they chose to do out, uh, they put the exhaust out the fender, which is lovely. And it has these great fins without being fins and, and, and a wonderful uh, stylistic uh, aircraft look. Very popular, of course, in the day in the mid-50s, late 50s. Uh, but it's just so well done in this car. Yeah, it looks great. Love the, the curved glass there that you're seeing. We'll give you a shot that back window that slides down. We'll give you a shot of the overall back of the car here as best we can. What a treat, huh? To just see a car like this and to get the chance to enjoy it. And we'll look under the hood here in a second. So again, the, these cars were crushed. So they actually had to kind of put them together from other cars, which is interesting. You're gonna see a Pontiac emblem there. Although clearly it's recreation of the Corvette. And we've got Chevrolet there. So in the day, GM did a very similar thing where they basically, this concept car they did originally for the Motorama was built off a Pontiac Safari chassis as well. Mm -hmm. And so one of those, uh, again, they didn't take license there, so it's authentic. And then you'll see as we pop the hood, some other things that perhaps you'll notice we took a little more license with. Let's pop the hood. Now I know to pop this hood, I need to grab it under here. Let me. Uh, let me yeah, that's a, that's an unusual thing too. And there's maybe part of the concept car approach is that the hood release is actually inside the left front fender well. I'll show you where it's, it's, it's at. It's kind of interesting. That's right. Right here, where my hand is. So I pull down on that, and it pops that hood. Let's take it out. Let's open it up. So here, see if you notice a little poetic license. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, the V8 rather than the straight six. Yeah, it would have been the straight six in the original car, but the uh, the designers, builders in this case decided, well, let's make it not only drivable, but perhaps a little more fun too. Yeah, no doubt. And we also have, uh, you mentioned some creature comforts I'm seeing on this side. We've got some air conditioning right here. Yeah, exactly. Which would be fantastic for yeah. your for your. And, and probably dinner. not found on the original concept. They <laughs> a, they wouldn't have bothered, and B, it wouldn't have been quite as efficient as this air conditioner. Yeah, they probably wouldn't ever. I, I'm doubting they even opened the hoods on them back then. They just spun them up on a uh, turnstile, so to speak. Correct. Well, let's shut the hood on this, mm -hmm. and we'll have you stand right next to it. Yeah, since you're sporting your 50s look there to get right yeah, in it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Andrew, again, thanks for letting us view this awesome car. It's a pleasure, Lou. Thanks so much for stopping by.